What's up guys, it's Brian here, and today I am announcing the winners of my 30,000 subscriber mock contest. It lasted for the entire month of May, and guys, this was the best contest I've ever done for so many reasons. First off, for my 10 and 20,000 subscriber contests, I got 43 entries a piece. I thought it was funny how I got like the same amount of entries for each contest. For this one, my 30,000 subscriber contest, this was overwhelming. I got 154 entries. I never expected this kind of response to a mock contest that I would start. I, I never thought I would get anywhere close to that. Even if I held contests like in the way distant future, assuming that I get even bigger on YouTube, I never, never expected to get that many. So first of all, thank you guys so much for participating in the contest and for making this so fun because this was so hard to to judge and to do i i'm going to explain something in a minute i changed up some of the some of the uh the winning rules however thank you guys and the fact that this inspired uh w well over a hundred of you to make custom mocks based on whatever it was that i said in the video or whatever you saw on youtube some of the mocks that i saw in there that you said they were your first mocks ever and you guys did an amazing job with it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that like, I'm not lying to you when I say that. I genuinely enjoyed watching all 154 videos. I, I'm showing on the screen right now, like all, you can see all the red bars under there real quick. I watched every single video. Um, and I just, I, I couldn't believe it when I kept getting entries. I think I got like 10 entries on day one. You guys just started building instantaneously. And then it just kept growing. My inbox was flooded every day with new entries and thank you guys so this was awesome but you want to know who won let's get to the winners so like i said before i did change up my winners format just a little bit because with 150 entries i knew it would be impossible to select just three and it was so i narrowed it down to a top five i'm going to show you my graphic on the screen now there are five big winners in addition to five honorable mentions that are going to get like little shout outs in this video. But so 10 total, 10 winners out of the 154. It was still very hard to narrow down. There was a lot of great mocks that I had to leave out. A lot of mocks that I saw that I was like close to adding, but then just didn't end up getting, it didn't end up uh, cracking that top 10. So let's get right into the honorable mentions. So these honorable mentions are in no particular order. These are just the five that didn't cut, didn't make that top five cut. So here are those five honorable mentions. First up, we've got a late addition to the contest, which was Blobfish Productions with his Kashyyyk hidden base mock. This was such an amazing mock. I really loved all the details on the inside. Um, next up is Brick Fig Studios in the honorable mentions. He did a really cool version of Obi-Wan's hut where he like expanded the inside and gave it a basement and had some cool caves under there. Thought that was really cool as well. The next honorable mention is Minifig tw uh, 1210 with, this was so hilarious. I had to throw this in there. This was a Star Wars The Office. It was so well done. It was a unique concept. No one else had ever done that before. I'd never seen it done before. And it was just hilarious and it was so well done. So I had to throw that in there as an honorable mention. The next honorable mention is Minifig Animations with his Death Star Trench mock. He's actually a stop motion animator that did that uh, uh, submitted one of his like animation sets as a mock, and it looks really awesome. So, uh, hats off to you as well. And the last honorable mention in this list is LWSA Productions with his mock that's based on the Blue Virus episode of the Clone Wars. So, some very accurate details in there. These are the five that were close to making the cut, but we're just a little shy. So all the links for all the stuff's in the description, but watch the video so you don't get spoiled for the for the winners as well. So congratulations to the honorable mentions. Let's get into the bigger shout outs for four, five, three, two, and one. Coming in at fifth place in the mock contest, we have Killer with his Lego Star Wars Venator mock. This mock blew my mind. It's It isn't a typical diorama, but it's a, just a, a massive Venator mock, and it's it looks a lot bigger than the set itself. It looks like it's almost UCS size. The details were phenomenal. I was I was trying to figure out if this was like if he followed some instructions or just like used his own thing. And he built this whole thing himself. It's incredible to see. It I think this was might have been his first video on his channel. 
He's currently working on a uh, custom gunship, so if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe to him for that. He's only got nine subscribers, but come on, if he can build something like this, he's got an amazing future ahead of him with building, so shout out to you, Killer. Guys, go subscribe to his channel, go see that custom gunship, go look at that custom Venator. The video was a little bit longer than five minutes, but it's okay. He showed off so many details in that video that I just, it was incredible. It was so awesome. It, it should be a set. That should be a Lego set, that Venator mock that he made. So shout out to you, Killer. You got fifth place in the contest. Great job. In fourth place, we've got Zami Bricks with his Bunker on Endor mock. This one wowed me from the minute I saw it, and it's just such a gorgeous build in its incredible simplicity. He uses like four total colors in this mock, and they flow together so nicely. It looks so accurate to something that's like, Maybe this was like the other side of the bunker on Endor, but it looks so great. It looks like it came straight out of Endor. The The mountain flow was amazing. The way that the, the earth tones kind of like blended together a little bit. It was just such a satisfying build. And he is a really good mock maker. He's got 91 subs, and when he gets to 100, he's doing a mock contest and a giveaway. So if you want to participate in that and you want to get in on that, go subscribe to his channel. He's got some other great mocks on the channel as well. So... Go subscribe to Zami Bricks, get him to 100 subs, go enter his contest contest next. I want to see a lot of entries in his contest. So shout out to you, Zami Bricks. Amazing job with the Endor mock. It was so satisfying. So awesome job. Coming in in third place, a YouTuber that some of you guys might be familiar with, GM Productions with his Gunship Maintenance Hangar mock. This was such a funky one. The details of it all flow together so nicely. He's got like a mountain with a waterfall. It goes on to a little tiny beach area. And it seem, it's such a mixed bag. He's got a base on the inside of it too. But it all flows together so nicely. The details on the inside of the mock are incredible as well. He's got some nice stories in there. As well as some cool little staircases. I especially love on the inside of the garage. There's like a wall that kind of blends in with the shape of the mountain. He got that shaping so well done. And... It was just so cool. Like, it looks cool from every, like, you, you twist and turn, and it looks cool from every angle. He's got details packed in every single little corner, and it was just so cool. And I knew as soon as I saw it, I was like, all right, he's probably going to play somewhere because this was just an, such an awesome mock. He just came back to YouTube about a month ago. He's got 500 subs, and he already has tons of amazing builds in just the one month that he's been back. And I think he's running a mock contest, too, because I saw some of you guys were entering your mocks into his contest as well. I don't know if that's still going on. Maybe you can leave that in the comments below. If you're watching this GM Productions, leave it in the comments if your mock contest is still going on. But go enter his contest if he's still doing it. Go subscribe to his channel because he's got some incredible builds on there. So GM Productions, shout out to you. Third place in the contest. Amazing job. All right, here we go. We're down to the top two. Coming in at second place, we've got Lego French Builder with his Order 66 Cater Nemodia mock. This one just came in in the size requirements, so obviously it's it's okay. It's a free form mock that uses dark gray, dark tan, and light gray. He's got some incredible structures in this little tiny in this little tiny area. He got some clones, obviously receiving Order sixty six from Palpatine. They're about to go kill that Jedi. The structures are so beautiful in this mock as well. It's just it's so satisfying. He's got like a statue of a guy with like a shield and a sword. Um, this like mossy like abandoned temple thing with a tree on the other side It's just such a great little build some amazing textures in there And this was another one I knew when I saw it even when I saw his thumbnail I was like that's a good mock It's probably gonna end up placing and it did and it's so darn good and He is also a very new channel. It seems like he's got three videos total. He just started like a month ago He's got a few other mocks on there He's only got 100 subs, so go increase that. Let's get him to, like, a little bit. Let's get him to 200, you know, because he definitely deserves it. He's also active on Flickr, too. He's got some more mocks there as well, so maybe he just came to YouTube. So, Lego French Builder, shout out to you. I hope you keep building. I hope that you uh, um, stay in the community and keep building awesome mocks like this because that was incredible. So, good job, Lego French Builder. Shout out to you. All right, guys, are you ready for the winner of the 30,000 subscriber mock contest? A mock and a channel that came out of nowhere. I had no idea that when I started watching this video that it would be the winner, but the more I watched this video, the more I realized it deserved to win this contest, and that is LSC Studios with his Kashyyyk Mountain Base. And I just, again, when I saw like the title and thumbnail, I was like, okay, it's probably just going to be another average entry. 
But then I kept watching, I started watching the video. He used the full maximum size requirements of four gray base plates. So the mock is huge and it's got some amazing uh, nature texture, some awesome mountains with the sand work and the water and the trees and everything comes together so nicely. But it's not only just that that makes this mock so cool. He's got like fronts of, uh, of Kashyyyk on both sides of the base. So it's like a two sided mock. It looks good from every angle. And the interior details are what really impressed me and tipped this over to become first place. He's got some very sleek interiors, the amazing use of parts, amazing use of snap techniques and tiles and all that kind of stuff. He's even got some like working functions inside the mock itself. And the more I watched it, the more I just fell in love with this video. And it's, it's just so good. And I just had to give this first place. It beat out all these other mocks that I was, I was amazed. The more I kept watching it, the more I just loved every, de every single detail I saw in this video. So, LSC Studios, he has 40 subscribers. He just started YouTube less than a month ago, and he's got a ton of cool mocks on there already. I haven't watched all of them just yet, but I will get around to doing that. Let's double that subscriber count of his, man of his let's get him up to at least 80 maybe push him over 100 with this with this shout out because he deserves it he just started let's get him a, a lot more subs than he already has and let's encourage him to keep on building guys so lsc studios congratulations to you you're the big winner of my 30,000 subscriber mock contest amazing job with the chic mock and also he's going to do a longer video about this mock showing off all the features because he had to keep it around five minutes so he's going to do a longer video showing all the explanations for everything and i'm excited to see that video so shout out to you lsc studios congratulations on winning the mock contest and as a little bonus to those top five winners i'm going to practice what i preach if i'm telling you to go subscribe to all of them it'd be foolish of me not to so i have subscribed to those five channels as well so you've all earned a subscription for me as well i'm excited to see what you guys do next and guys, go links are all in the description below. And if you want to see the playlist of all of these videos, I highly recommend you do. There's 150 videos. Hit shuffle on the playlist on the playlist and find some other channels to look at as well. And again, if you didn't place in the contest, that does not mean at all that I did not enjoy your build. I thoroughly enjoyed watching all 150 of these videos. It took me like 10 days. I started it in the middle of May going through all the entries as they kept coming in. So I was able to get this video out pretty quick for you guys. But if you didn't win, there's no need to get discouraged at all because we all start somewhere. Some of this were your, some of these were your first mocks ever. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys keep building and I hope to see you all whenever I do another contest. So again, go subscribe to all these top channels, LSC Studios, Lego French Builder, GM Productions, Zami Bricks and Killer. Go find some other channels in that playlist to subscribe to and... I love the little community that we have in all this. I saw a bunch of comments already in um, in other videos while I was watching that. So that was amazing to see as well. So this was such a fun experience for me. I hope it was a fun experience for you. And that is going to just about do it for the contest. Leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below. And go subscribe to all these other channels that you see in the description below. Thanks guys for watching. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out guys.